hello welcome to a new video so i am just about to do my makeup um i'm gonna keep it short and sweet and to the point but we are using my new foundation brush so i am pretty excited about that and this better be good because this was over 20 dollars. i don't think i've ever brought brought okay bought a makeup brush that was that expensive but like the last minute feline actually bought all my makeup for me it was so sweet so she's the one who technically bought the super expensive brush how do you even oh it has like a whole moment it's like a pla like plastic half wow okay look how nice i'm so excited this is the airbrush blurring foundation brush. So it's supposed to like make it look really good. But brushes for Ulta. So anyways, <clears throat> I am actually getting ready because I have my doctor's appointment and I just felt like putting on makeup. I don't know. I like to look presentable when I go in public, and nine times out of ten, I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I went through an era. I don't know if, like, you guys went through this era, too, ever. Like, if you wear makeup, where I would never leave the house without makeup on. This era started in high school, actually. Um, around 17 years old, and it lasted for... Maybe until I was around like 22. So it lasted about five years where I just would not go in public without a little bit of something. I feel like that's kind of a bad habit. I don't know. For myself. Like if you're like that, then you know, that's fine. Do you. But like for myself, it just didn't. I don't know. It just felt like, come on. Why are you so afraid for people to see your true face? Because makeup is like an art, like truly. It like transforms someone's face like wholeheartedly. But yeah, I need to hurry. I actually have to leave in 12 minutes. So I am a little rushy. Why is... Oh, okay. My friend just called me. Well, was trying to FaceTime me. I think it was an accident. I'm going to focus on my makeup and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I'm just like super anxious about this appointment yeah i'm hoping we get some answers okay you guys so good news oh my god wow okay i have tissue in my hand because i started crying it was just like a few tears then it made my doctor have a tear. And then it made Feline have a tear. And we all kind of had a moment. I was thanking my doctor for just listening to me through everything. Because I've had so many doctors who just like don't take me seriously. And uh, I don't know. Finally found a doctor who just like <laughs> is phenomenal and listens to me. And good news. The nodule isn't there. They think that I really did just have like pneumonia because I did take two different types of antibiotics at the exact same time. And the fluid has drastically improved. So I think that, well, my doctor thinks that they confused my fluid with a nodule because I don't have one. I, I don't know. I just feel so lucky and grateful. This has been such a scary time for me and um, oh, Feline's coming. I have to walk downstairs. Um, I just feel so grateful. I have to walk like weird because still my ankle's kind of wonky. But I don't know. I just had to like immediately tell you guys because I just feel so much better. You have no idea. Like, oh my god, I cannot wait to tell my mom because she's been so worried. Ooh. So we're at the good old world market. I have not been here in years, so I'm pretty pumped. 
Look at how cute. I think we're both obsessed with her. How much is it? <gasps> Only $16. So she has a little blemish. Her yeah, titty is dirty. Her titty is dirty? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This stuff is cute. Like, even this is kind of cute in a weird way. You guys, look at these erasers. It's like a bag of avocados. This is so cute. <gasps> Baby girl! Yeah, I'm homesies. I'm homesies. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Twinkie gets so excited when we get home. I have a haul. Where do you want to put it? Right there. Yeah, we're home, Zeus. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys what I got from World Market. Okay. So, first things first. We got some green curry. Um, we already did the carbs on it and all that, so don't you worry. It was so hard being a world market on a keto moment because there were some things we wanted. We got some pickles. This is just Brooklyn, Detroit, McClure's pickles. Um, I did get a couple gifts for someone, so ignore that. We got some salami. We got some genwa, garlic, and black pepper. Genoa. Genoa. <laughs> and she got a lamb salami. My ass will not be touching that because no. We also got some oil because we needed some more. So we got the olive oil from Spain. It's mild and buttery. So we're going to be trying that. That's a gift. That's a gift, gift, gift. So cranes are special to Feline. So not only that, but this matched my Christmas decor. So she got this really pretty sparkly crane. It's an ornament to put on the tree. It is so beautiful. And then, folks, we got the titties. We did, we got the titties. She might have a little titty blemish, but don't we all? <laughs> and then, of course, it came with the flowers. The flowers don't match my decor per se because of the purple, but I kind of like it. I think it's cute. So, look. Oh, my God. I have to decide somewhere to put it. I want that to be like a focal point. I might actually leave it on the island. I don't know. We'll see. And one last thing. is we're actually about to make taco salad i'm like so hungry and so is she so <laughs> we're starved we haven't ate today this is eucalyptus bath and shower oil with a beautiful little eucalyptus plant like ma'am oh, wait i want to sniff i didn't sniff in the store oh eucalyptus is one of my fave smells it smells so good so yeah that's everything we got okay you guys so i think it's time that i change my purse i've been using oh i've been using this telfar purse which feline got me um a while ago and i've been using it forever <laughs> but uh there's kind of just like a lot of stuff in it that I just like threw in it because when I have a bigger purse, that's just what I do. So I'm gonna switch from the Telfar to literally just some cheapo purse that I've had forever. I usually switch purses more often, but I'm obsessed with the Telfar and she also got me Telfar earrings. I have so much shit in here, so I'm about to show you. I wish this was a joke, so. Let me just pull it all out. In my side pocket, I have a CarMax, which shit, I'm gonna use right now. I love this stuff. How it smells, feels, looks. A $5 bill, 
a one dollar bill now in the big section you you'd think i was trolling i'm not trolling when i say i'm not trolling it means i'm not trolling i've been lugging this around this is alex and ada the complete collection also was carrying around <laughs> this book is called kiss number eight obviously my wallet's in there which just has the typical a dollar wow i'm so rich debit card my vaccine card and a few other utter a few other and a few other miscellaneous things and then i carry this around you're mine literally the first week i met feline she gave me that and i've had it in there for that long some tylenol this has been in there since i was having um really bad shoulder pain like a month ago like really bad so i had to take tylenol ibuprofen like it was bad and it didn't work this is in there this is my tax paperwork because they wanted when i got my new id they needed three proofs of address so this was one of them what is this oh this is from when i tore ligaments in my ankle all the paperwork you get for that where's the lid oh no but this is hair perfume i am very much a smell gal i like to smell good i like my home to smell good and i like my hair to smell good um so this is pink sugar you guys can find this on um amazon my kindle's in there low battery your kindle needs to charge before use i'm not gonna lie haven't used it in a hot minute. We have some bills that I'm not gonna show. We have my, oh my God, my birth certificate, which was a proof that I am myself when I got my ID. My social security card from when I got my ID. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not cleaning this up. Oh my God, it's hanging up my cell phone earrings. <laughs> oh my God, they were lost in there. See, this is why I shouldn't use big purses. But look how pretty. Oh my god, they're stunning. Stun in. I also have a deodorant in there. Like I said, I like to smell good. I have a business card. The lid to my hair perfume. We have a Burt's Bees lip moment in watermelon. I have a perfume. I don't need to say it again, folks. But it's nice to smell good. And this is just uh, Kim Kardashian. Oh my God, she's empty. She is empty. That's called the empty dance. Now I'm just going to take some of this, like the priorities, and put it in here. I'm not going to like bore you guys, but I know I like watching videos of people like share showing what's in their purse. I figured I would do the same.